Hey there, if you're running into the operation couldn't be completed input slash output error on your iPhone, don't sweat it. I've got some easy fixes for you. This issue usually pops up because of file system errors, connectivity hiccups, or corrupted files. So let's get started on how to tackle it. Before diving into anything else, give these document apps a try on your iPhone. First, download a third-party document app from the App Store. Now open up the app you just installed. Tap on the Files app to open it. Find the file in question and check for any issues. That doesn't do the trick, let's move on to the next solution. Solution 1. Open Sync iCloud. Open Settings. Tap your Apple ID at the top of the screen. Next, tap on iCloud. Then tap on See All. Find iCloud Drive. Enable the Sync This iPhone option. If it's already enabled, then turn it off and re-enable it again. Solution 2. Offload the app. Open the Settings app, scroll down and tap on General. Next, tap on iPhone Storage. Find the Files app in the list, tap Offload App. Then confirm by tapping Offload App again. Now tap Reinstall App. After that, check if the issue has been resolved. Solution 3. Sign out and back into iCloud. Open Settings. Tap your Apple ID at the top of the screen. Scroll down and tap Sign Out. Now restart your iPhone. Open Settings again. Tap on General. Scroll down and select Transfer or Reset iPhone. Tap Reset then choose Reset Network Settings. This will reset your Wi-Fi password, cellular settings and VPN configurations. By following these steps, you should be able to fix the input slash output error on your iPhone. If this guide helped you out, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below.